this is Iglana. It's a bit crowded. Let's add another dimension. Much better. Yggdrasil and all of its branch areas. But how do we know this is the right placement of the areas? A body Brahma can help there. But we don't need him. It can be puzzled together by just looking at how you traverse the world. Let's start with Yggdrasil, starting at the roots. We can travel between the areas by simply using ladders or falling. Easy peasy. The roots of the goddesses of fortune, Skuld, Veredandi and Urd connect to Anthem, Immortal Battlefield and Icefire Treetops respectively which represent the goddess's aspects of the future, present, and past. Next, the front side. The front side areas is connected to Yggdrasil through the soul gates. For this, we don't care about the gates' exact placement within the rooms, as we are staying on the game's 832 by 448 grid, so the important part is that we overlap the rooms. The front side is connected to the back side through the Yggdrasil gates. Otherwise, the procedure is exactly the same as when we lined up the front side to Yggdrasil. The exception to this is the Eternal Prisons, Doom and Gloom. But we have another factor to help there the Corridor of Blood. Note that we have lined up the front to the back. The blood gates are magically placed in a beautiful, although admittedly very slightly elongated, hexagon. We can use the bottom two blood gates to place Eternal Prison Doom on the diagonal between them. Which not so coincidentally makes Doom nuzzle in perfectly with Gloom, a match made in heaven. With the corridor of blood aligned, the seal is active. Filling up the cracks throughout Yggdrasil with pure rage. These cracks were already there all along. And in the center is the spiral gate leading to the ninth child and spiral hell. Which makes us end up where we started in Yggdrasil. And now we can bring in Brahma's maps, showing that Brahma did a good. 